Well, if you had fun last weekend or maybe you missed the big show in Syracuse, well, there's still lots of things coming up. Finger Lakes Speed World has been going on for quite some time at the Finger Lakes Mall in Auburn, New York. The 2023 edition comes up this weekend, March 18th and 19th. Robert Goodell is back promoting the event for the second time. If you don't know him, he is with Samson No Prep. Uh, it's the drag racing like you see on a lot of those uh, drag racing shows. Uh, but he is a pretty smart guy, and he's got a lot of stuff coming this weekend. Saturday 9 to 7, Sunday 9 to 5. There's bands available on Saturday afternoon and Sunday afternoon as well, so there's lots of things going on. They're going to have RC, car racing, both uh, roundy round, drag, drift, and demo derby, power wheels, all that cool stuff. Robert Cadell joins us. How you been, man? Good. How have you been? Good, good. So, how do we look this weekend? Uh, can you? What can you tell me about who's going to be there and what's going to be happening? Well, 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 we'll give you a flight preview. Of course, we don't want to sell everybody everything, but, you know, right. we uh, we have a, a lot on deck this year. We have a lot going on. It, it seems like it's going to be one heck of a show. I'm really happy happy with the way it's going to turn out. We uh, we have a few people that a lot of the people know here. We got Bobby Farrow coming. Um, I think it's the first time he's been to one of these shows in a while. He's bringing his car to debut it and, and show it off. You know, we have uh, Daryl Ruggles is coming. We have a lot of, a lot of dirt cars uh, from all the local dirt tracks. Land of Legends Raceway, Outlaw Speedway, Fulton, Brewerton. Uh, along with, we have a large array of drag cars that are coming. Um, Esta, Empire, um, myself at Samson No Prep, we have some cars coming from our track. Um, of course, the bike rock clubs will be there. We love those guys. Mm-hmm. The way they they do their program, it's really nice. I like that. Um, we just have a lot going on. Now you have the vintage dragsters again, like you've had the last few years, too? Yes, we do have some vintage dragsters coming. Actually, Troy Leiby, um, yep. he's raced all over. All over, he's he's bringing a few cars. He's bringing one that's just coming back around. I, I can't really remember the story, or maybe I can, and we want to leave a little cliffhanger okay. for everybody. Okay. The, the car that he's bringing uh, is pretty well known in, in in the drag racing world. Interesting. So. Okay, and if you're a fan of this channel, we remember we met Troy uh, last year before the season started. He showed us his funny car that he had, but I know he's been doing some different things, so this will be interesting to see what he brings to the, to the show. But Troy drives some pretty serious cars, doesn't he? He does. He does. We're actually lucky to have him out at Sampson here last year. He actually brought his car out to the and put on one heck of a show for everybody. That those cars are amazing. Nice. Tell me a little bit about Samson No Prep, because there's a lot of people, and I've, I've done a lot of research on this. I, I talked to a lot of folks at the Syracuse Nationals last year who do this as well. It's kind of like if, if you don't want to have to go to the serious track, but you still want to run without a tree and without anybody seeing all your ETs and everything, this is a nice way to do it, isn't it? It is definitely, yeah. It's, it's definitely more, uh, it's a lot more simpler, I guess you could say. You know, we all, we run it off a of flashlight and you know, there's no tree to time. There's there's no timing system to worry about. It's, it, and like I've said a million times, it's really organized street racing. That's mm-hmm. what it is. It is. Yep. So, and again, street racing, guys, do not do that, really, guys. You know, so many bad things can happen. They had a big incident uh, about a month ago, I remember, where they had a big incident at a street race down south somewhere. So this is the way to do it, guys. If you got a car, you want to see how fast it is, you want to see how it matches up against other guys, don't go driving up and down the street. Get a hold of Robert. He's on Facebook. He'll get you all set. You can come on out. little side uh, action going on, kind of like the uh, TV shows that we see. Oh, most definitely. Okay. For sure. That definitely happens. Yeah. yeah, so you can have a little yep. fun with that, too. So, uh, of course. Of uh, course. Who are the bands? Even if you, no, uh, go ahead. What, no, what were you going to say? Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Say, even if you don't have a car, you can always come out. You know, I've lost many dollar bills at these races. You know, you can always <laughs> bet You can always bet a little side, side act, and there's always people there willing to do that. So. Mm-hmm. I remember they used to have the uh, eighth miles at Apple Valley back in the day. And I, I, I was thinking half the grandstand. That was, that was why they were there. I think it was just to, right. to do exactly. that with their buddies and, and try to pick the winner yeah. uh, and everything like that. So uh, tell me about the music. So the music, we have John Lamana on Saturday. He's coming from noon until 2. John's a, a really good friend of mine. He's a local guy here, extremely talented. Um, he'll be there again from noon until 2. From 2.30 till around 5, we have Nick Givenini coming, another very talented guy, local artist, amazing guy. Um, make sure you check these people out. On Sunday, we have Unparalleled. I'm gonna. Th- we just discovered these guys a few weeks ago. Very talented people. I, you know, I'm very, I'm very blessed that we have these three acts coming. These guys are all very, very talented people, and you need to come check them out. What kind of music are we talking about? Everything, honestly. Oh, really? You know, that's 
the death that the, the best thing about all three of these artists, they play everything. You know, for instance, Unparallel here last Thursday, they just uh, sort of they came to one of our one of our events. They played for us, and everything from Johnny Cash to Metallica, Eminem. <laughs> I mean, they just everything. It was amazing. You don't often mention those three artists in the same sentence right there. So uh, you, don't. So you got a little really bit of don't. everything there, guys. So, uh, and of course, Definitely. admission is free. So come free. on out and uh, and see some very cool stuff. Some drivers will be there. Best time is usually Saturday afternoon, right? Definitely. Definitely. You know, the other thing we added this year is I have a swap meet. Oh. And I, I, holy cow, that's really blown up. I think we have one guy coming with a 53 foot trailer. We have. I just told a guy we have parts everywhere from your lawn tractor to your pro mod and everything in between. I mean, we have a lot of parts that'll be on hand. So, you know, you come out, there's a lot of stores that are still open inside the mall. Yes. So you can bring your whole family out. You know, your wife's going to be occupied looking at the, looking in the stores and you can go, go up to the swap meet, and maybe find yourself some parts for the, the car you're building in the garage. So, mm-hmm. of course, I've always been a Bass Pro shops fan myself. So, uh, yeah, yeah, you know. Bass Pro, you know. The, Obviously, your kids are going to love the RC car stuff. Yep. All the kids flock to that. That's a great time. And while they're there, you can put them on a power wheels, and they can race the power wheels race. That's sort of my famous thing here. We have some souped-up power wheels. We do power wheels uh, roundy round circle track race. We do some power <laughs> like wheels uh, drag racing. So the kids love it, and it'll be a lot of fun for sure. And I also wanted to talk about another event that Robert is, I don't know if he's necessarily a part of, but he will definitely be there. Cavalcade of Cars will be not this coming weekend, but the following weekend, 25th and 26th at the New York State Fairgrounds. That's more like a show cars and stuff like that, hot rods, right? It is, it is, yep, it for sure. It's Roger Humans and his team up there put on one heck of a show. Again, he has a swap meet. Um, he has a lot of vendors that will be there as well, just as I. Um, and a lot of high-end, beautiful cars. I mean, that show is is one to get to as well. So you have two weekends back-to-back that are full of stuff that you can take your family out to and, and just, you know, get out. Get out of the weather. Go have some fun. Yeah, and Ben Gregory is a guy who restores a lot of stuff. I know he'll have some cars in this. So these are the kind of cars yep. that you don't often see on the road, you know, and if you do, no. they pretty much stop traffic everywhere. Did I miss right. anything, Robert? No, I think you're good. All right. Well, I will see you Saturday afternoon. I'm going to be down by the Sears, the old Sears uh, area. He's got a little spot for me there so I can make sure that I don't have the music in the background. So we'll be going back and forth. So make sure to message me if you're going to be there. And, again, uh, check out Robert on Facebook. you got his spelling right there. He goes by Robert A. on Facebook. So make sure to look for, look, look for him there. Appreciate you getting to me, man. I'll see you on Saturday. Look forward to it. Definitely. Thank you. We'll see everybody Saturday. Finger Lake Speed World this Saturday and Sunday, March 18th and 19th. Again, 9 to 7 on Saturday, 9 to 5 on Sunday. All kinds of stuff. Bring the kids. Come on out and have yourself a good old time.